Hey guys. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Whimsical Wednesday. Thank y'all for joining us tonight. We are going to paint this buffet behind me that we've been working on now, I think two different weeks, and we're completely changing direction. Welcome Facebook, welcome Instagram. Thank you both for being here tonight. You are live on Dixie Bell's Instagram and Dixie Bell's Facebook page. My name is Tracy. I am Tracy Belgan of Tracy's Fancy and I'm a brand ambassador for Dixie Bell Paint. I've been with them for over three years now and I have met with y'all right here every single Wednesday night from 7 to 7.45ish. Uh, every single Wednesday night for about that long as well. So um, I look forward to every Wednesday night when we get to play with paint and tonight we are playing with some super bold colors. So let me tell you what's going on here and also we'd like to ask you if you'll please say hello in the comments. Just let us know that you're here. Give some thumbs up, some hearts. If you could give us some hearts on Instagram, let us know that you're here as well. Um, we would love to have you uh, join us every single night when we have live painters here. Whatever is most convenient for you, we've got someone painting pretty much um, every single day of the week live right here in live feed. So um, we are going a completely different direction with this buffet. Last week we mixed two colors, or was it the week before? We mixed two colors of green to get this lime green color or an olive green, not lime, like an olive green color, which you can see on this side of the buffet. So it's a beautiful color. It's very, very pretty. Um, I put some drop cloth in the middle. I was trying to get it ready to use this transfer right here, this transfer, which I love. This is the Latin floral transfer by Dixie Bell. It's one of the brand new transfers that they have out and I've been dying to use it. But y'all, I pulled the green from this little leaf right here. I thought it was gonna be perfect. This has not been talking to me at all. And I, I realized that I was trying to design for the transfer instead of instead of painting from my heart. And I kept walking back out here and looking at it over and over and over and I just couldn't. I couldn't do one more thing to it. I was literally paralyzed in my painting. I was, I was paralyzed in my painting. I was bored with it. I didn't like the color. I, I do like it, but I didn't want to move forward with the color, not for this piece. It just didn't seem like a good fit. And you guys were so kind because y'all were so excited when we came up with the green color and you've been there, but surely, surely you like what's going on over here better. This is something that I'm super excited about. In fact, I didn't even pull the colors from the transfer. I've got colors that are going on that aren't even in the transfer and then some that are that are in the transfer itself. We are not gonna apply the transfer tonight. We'll do that next week, but we are going to do exactly what you see over on this, on this one side and the top I'm gonna do with you right now. We're gonna start on the top and I'm gonna show you how I came up with these colors, how I use them, and then we are gonna move over this direction and I'm going to show you exactly how I painted this right here on these drawers as well. Okay, so I think when I posted it on my own Tracy's Fancy Facebook and Tracy's Fancy Instagram, if you don't follow me there, please go over and make sure that you're giving me a like and a follow along as well. <coughs> and, uh, but I think most people were like, what have you done? I love it, what have you done? So I think it's a good, it just fits. It just fits my energy and now I'm excited and that's where I wanna be. I need to be in that excited realm. If I'm not feeling it, I just can't do it. So, Sue is liking the red side. Yay, Sue, thank you. I love it. I love the red and the pink and the and the berry color and the aqua, <clears throat> excuse me, and we're gonna have some um, gold gemstone mousse on there as well, as well as some red gemstone gemstone mousse. So I'm really excited. Um, uh, to start, to do what we've done up here on the top, you just need a spray bottle and the colors of paints that you're gonna use, which we are gonna start out with. My favorite Dixie Belle color of all time is, it rotates between a few colors, but right now, the forerunner is usually um, the Gulf. I love the Gulf. So we are gonna paint, actually we're not gonna paint the Gulf first. We are gonna paint the trim first. So I used large brushes for all of these. I like it better, Deb. Yay, does Deb, does Deb not like it better? Uh, I don't know, but she had asked me, if, like if you it. liked it better. Um, we're gonna use Plum Crazy on the trim. I did the trim first. So let me tell you a little bit about this style. I decided I wanted to go towards the folk art. The, the transfer Latin floral has a very folk art flair to it. And um, my, my painting has a lot of 
uh, perfectionism in it. Like I do a lot of detail and stripes and polka dots and Harlequin and checks and things have to be very precise and very sharp and straight lines. So it's a little bit challenging for me to go free with my paint. Um, and this is a free, free painting. There's nothing perfect about it. Um, there will be a lot of distressing. The colors blend over. Um, they are sanded back. You can see down here on this bar, down here on the bottom, I'm gonna show you how to do this, how to go from the aqua into this uh, plum color and then how you get this blended color here in between. Um, it's just, it's a fun way to paint. It's a really fun way to paint. So let's get started right up here. We're gonna Melissa, do this trim. Melissa says it seems kind of Latin to her. I think it is too. Yes, yes. So this is, um, this actually is, well here, this is the tube, Melissa. So this is the tube called Latin Floral right here. This is what it looks like. This is what the transfer looks like when it's all put together. Um, and yeah, it is called Latin Floral. So it's kind of go, I don't really want to call it boho. I didn't want to call it that. I want to do like more of a Latin folk uh, feel to it. So I decided to go super playful because this, this transfer makes me happy. And this was making me feel bored and stuffy. <laughs> Can't do bored and stuffy. So let's get started. Um, Matt, you can go ahead and let me know if anybody's got any questions once I start with this process here. Um, this is Plum Crazy. Plum Crazy is a gorgeous, rich color. Uh, it's darker than, it's one of the pinks. I guess you could call it a purple, but it's uh, darker than uh, peony or peony, which is what I call it. And this is Plum Crazy. Love it, love it, love it. So I'm just putting it on the tip of my brush and I'm just sort of slapping it on. Like I don't, I don't want to worry about uh, lines. I'm not worrying if I'm staying in the lines. This is just a very free way to paint. So I'm not using any water right here. I'm putting on ample amount, ample amount. It's going right over the top, which is, you know, strange for me, right? Just to take it right over and not even worry about it. Because I knew that I was gonna blend those two colors together and it's not a perfect blend either. We're not doing like a perfection blend that you're worried someone's gonna zoom in on and say, oh, her blending, you know, her blending sucks. <laughs> <laughs> or her blending's amazing, or whatever. It's just uh, a very free way to paint. We're just playing, playing with colors. Amber says she loves it. Yay, Amber, thank you. Deb says the piece speaks to the artist and the piece didn't want to be green. <sighs> it did not, it did not. I, I mean, I was trying to force it. I was really, really trying to force it and that was not happening. All right, so now we're gonna work with the golf and I'm gonna use my sprayer here because this is a very large surface. I think that this buffet is about seven feet long. It's a pretty big surface. So I'm kind of stepping down the top there. I'm gonna just put that under my arm and I'm gonna go ahead and start here at the back and look, I'm just gonna start laying down some stripes of paint just like this because I wanna get all the way across the top but I want to have plenty of paint to work with when I start spraying. So I'm going to lay it out and then I'm just going to kind of spray my stripes. What you doing, babe? Getting a little booster here for the camera. A booster? So we can get a better angle. I'm going to have to shake it up here, guys. All right, so I'm going to set my jar down. So y'all are just going to watch me paint tonight, basically. So there we go, I'm gonna lay some water right down in to that paint, just like that. I'm gonna come back with my brush. Dixie Bell says, oh, never mind. She's answering a question that I missed. Oh good, Dixie Bell, by the way, so we've got uh, moderators that are here from Dixie Bell um, behind the scenes. So they will answer any questions that maybe Matt has missed or, uh, or maybe that... Oh, Paula's video was starting and stopping. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you have any issues at all, I'm sure they're telling you to sign out and sign back in. Yep. And that will help. All right, so here we go. Our two colors are starting to come together. I'm just kind of painting right up to that edge with my, with my, uh, this aqua, aqua color. 
with the golf. Just go right up to the edge here. Just add in a little bit of water so I can get it to smear around. Now, I only painted half of the piece uh, because I wanted to show you how to do the rest. So I'm gonna have to go back, I'm sure, and clean it up. Now watch what I'm doing here. I'm taking my brush and I'm just working it on the edge, just like this, just working it on the edge, just kind of blending those two out in a circular motion, just like that. Do that over here as well, just blend them out, bringing them together because I've activated it with a little bit of water. There we go. Was commenting that your top and your earrings match your piece. Oh, yes. Did thank you. Did you did that on purpose? I did that on purpose. I did <laughs> it on purpose. No, not the top. But my mom gave me these earrings for my birthday. Aren't they so cute? I love them. Yeah. They're actually from my sister-in-law's shop. Um, so I had told her I was going to wear them all my life. Okay, so now I'm going to come back and I am going to take, this is my Plum Crazy brush. So I'm going to re-wet my brush a little bit. And I'm going to go right along the front here again. And I'm just going to start kind of bringing it over the edge. Bring the blue into the plum crazy and the plum crazy into the blue. See if okay. got rid of the green? Is that Sue? Digging the new colors? Is that Sue Walters? Who is that? Uh, yes. Yes. Hi, sweet Sue. Sue's going to be at my tea party. I'm so excited. Her husband bought her a, a tea party. Oh, you already mentioned your earrings, too. Who? Yardy. Oh, thank you. It's Yari. Or it's Yari. I'm Yari. Sorry. Well, she says, I've always called her Yari. Hi, Yari. And she says Yari. And I'm like, what? You never told me it was Yari. I always call her Yari. I think she answers either. She's a sweetheart. She is a sweetheart. Okay, so I'm just taking this around back and forth like this. Now I'm going to get my aqua brush. And um, actually, I need a rag bag. Will you grab me a rag? There should be, there's a blue one right over there. Um, if you look at my brush, you will see, yes, that my brush that had blue paint in it also has a little bit of Plum Crazy paint in it. You can see it's got a little bit of Plum Crazy in there. So I'm just going to kind of wipe that off. I think it's just outside, babe. Sounds like someone's knocking on our, yeah, it does. Knocking on our garage. All right, so I'm going to spray this down a little bit more. And I'm going to just make this like this. And to be honest, you guys, normally to paint long pieces, I would get behind it like this. And I would go all the way, you know, all the way across, just like this. So we're not gonna get this to perfect tonight because I'm doing this with y'all and one half was dry and the other half is wet. But this is how I would normally do it. I wouldn't just work halfway across the piece. Don't do that at home. Don't work just halfway across the top of the piece at home. You need to make sure that you're running that paint all the way from one side to the other. And I've got a little bit too much <laughs> paint right here. What are you laughing at? Oh, I was messing with the camera. All the way across like this. There we go. So what I want to happen up here is the aqua and the plum crazy they actually blend beautifully together but it almost looks um neon it almost gets like a neon look to it and that says you make it look so easy <laughs> it really it really is you just got to keep playing with it amber and says she would have joined your tea party if she would have been able to find some sets oh man girl i've got so many sets here it's they're all spoken for though, but uh, I'm sorry that you weren't able to find any tea sets. Most people though, Amber, most people, uh, they don't even paint with me during the class. Did you know that? You know that, you've taken my classes before. They don't paint with me during the class. They just show up to learn how and then do it later. There we go, we've got a nice blend around the one side. Not so much over here, I'm not gonna worry about it because I'm gonna move on. But do you see up here how this almost gets like a, a surreal color. It's very, very kind of almost like a, like, like it's glowing. I don't want to say neon. I want to say kind of like it's lit up or glowing. And I love that. That's exactly, exactly what I'm after. So if you've never tried the golf and uh, Plum Crazy together, you should. 
They make a beautiful color when they meet. Linda says fabulous. Fabulous. You see that? It does look really good. So I'm just kind of brushing out those marks just like that, just kind of bringing it very light with my hand, like super light. And it blended beautifully, right? Oh, so pretty. So then what I would do is I would go back with a little bit of the Plum Crazy again, just dip it in the lid and go back and clean up this front so that it doesn't really have so much of the blue in it. Just a little bit, not perfect. Just run it up, just freshen it back up so it doesn't have that blended blue in it, so that that blue blend starts on the top. Okay, all right, we are gonna lower the camera and get down here to the front and let me get everything set up. So this is what I do. One brush goes with one paint, another brush goes with another paint um, so that I can kind of keep my colors pure. <laughs> so I keep my colors virgin. Um, so I, um, I put my paint down on the ground and I lay the brush that goes with that color on top of that color. Instagram, I'm about to jiggle the camera quite a bit, so give me a break. Uh oh, we lost the light. Okay, so we get a red and white and light pink. There we go. And baby wipes. So Mr. Bottle. All right, we are we are on the floor. This is where we usually are, right? This is like this is like home. Here we are. All right, this part's fun because I love, love these two colors. Okay, so first of all, I hope I've encouraged you to try Plum Crazy and the Golf. That's my first challenge to all of y'all. Find something that you can use Plum Crazy and the Golf on, blend them together, and look at the amazing color that happens, that glowy color that happens in between the two. So, um, babe, can you lower these so they get a good light on us yep. here? Thank you. You're doing a fabulous job, honey. Mm -hmm. So he's going to come in done. here in a minute, a little bit closer, so you can see the detail that's going on over here. Uh, what I want you to notice is first we're going to do red. So my favorite red that Dixieville has is Honky Tonk Red. It is not the only red, but it is my favorite red. Um, it's very, very bright. It's a very bright red. So, Dixie Bell's Honky Tonk Red is going to get its own brush as well. Doesn't matter what brush you're using right now. Now, it's about to matter what brush you're using. And I'm going to really push a brush hard here in a minute, and you'll see why. Um, so, for right now, we're just going to emulate. We're going to imitate. The, emulate and imitate. What's the difference? What are you trying to say? <laughs> it depends on how you're using it. I want this to look like that. Emulate. Just say you want it to look like that? <laughs> <laughs> emulate or imitate. I don't know. Okay, so look at that. You see how bright that is? That's Honky Tonk Red, y'all. That is some Honky Tonk Red. But we are going to blend Honky Tonk Red a little bit with Plum Crazy, which sounds Plum Crazy, right? Doesn't it? Who puts red together with a hot, vibrant pink? I do. I do. Amber so. doesn't have either color, but she's going to get some along with transfers. Oh, awesome, Amber. I, I, am, I hope that... Um, yes, duh. Okay. What? Karen says it's replicate. Why are we groping duh. for that word? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, because I emulate came out of my mouth. Well, like, Irene, it just came and out. Irene says emulate. It just came out. And then I was like, oh, wait, is it imitate? I don't know. Linda says, so excited. Can't wait to see you finish it. Come on, girl, do it. Come on, girl, do it. Amber, do you use my link when you shop? I don't remember. You shop online, right? You, you can do. say duplicate. There's all kinds of lates you can say. <laughs> all kinds of lates. How about I am late? I'm always late. I am late. You are late, late for a very important day. Okay, do you see what I'm doing here? I am painting this entire trim. This is crazy to me because normally I work with these little bitty brushes like this and I'm all like this, <laughs> making things so perfect. And then today I was just like, oh, this is fun. I'm just making a mess. 
I kind of like this. I think I like it. So, yep, I'm getting it on my white. Now, this area right here and this area and this area where I've got drop cloth, that's the color of the paint, by the way. Um, Elizabeth those... wants to know why you put green on there first. Oh, <laughs> hell. She came in a little late. She came in late because um, I thought that I wanted this piece to be green with off-white and use this beautiful Latin transfer on it. And I have put it off a week. I've finished it. It's all double coat, two coats. So and I can't, it wasn't speaking to me. It was making me feel very frumpy and very boring and uptight. So uh, I Pat, changed the color. Sorry, Patty wants to know what color is that red? And Beth says, how many coats of red? One, one coat. One coat? One coat of red. This is honky tonk red. Yeah, this over here is one coat. So I'm doing it kind of sloppy, kind of sloppy. Now, this is gonna have a transfer. So I don't want, to paint all red on there, but I don't want it to also be clean and perfect. I on purpose made it look like that. I want it to be like an old world Latin pop art, you know, not pop art, uh, uh, folk art look, like an aged look, okay? So I'm gonna show y'all something here in just a minute. I'm going to pull out a specific brush. Oh man, I got a, I got a little bit of red on my pink. I got some red on my pink. You got your chocolate in my peanut, peanut butter. On my peanut butter. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. Exactly. It's a good thing you don't have a whole lot of millennials on here because they haven't played that commercial in 30 years. I before. know, I know. I'm pretty sure everyone watching right now knows you got your chocolate on my peanut butter. Right? No, guys? you got your peanut butter on my chocolate. Yeah. Okay. I used to love that commercial. Carrie loves Honky Tonk Red. Painted my bar height slated patio table in Honky Tonk. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. All right, I'm just going to do this bottom part down here. And... Sherry is on. She says, ugh, frumpy and uptight. I was really liking the green. <laughs> <laughs> Sherry, I'm sorry, y'all. That's my BFF. That's my BFF. God love her. But you know what? We balance each other. She's not frumpy and uptight, but she's safe. Sherry likes to play it safe. And the green was safe. It was way too safe. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't go another day trying to figure out how I was going to paint this piece with that green. So Leslie wants to know, oh, what's happening to the pretty green? Yeah, Leslie, what's happening? I got a hold of it. We're changing it up. Sue says you're making her feel better because most of her pieces change colors before they're done, like 80% of them. Yay, Sue, see, that's okay. I think that that sometimes, well, that's a, that's you know, that was what I, that's what I called the name of the post, right? Sometimes things change. Judy Hux is here coming in late. Hi, Judy. Hi, Judy. Okay, so next, this is what we're gonna do. We are going to freshen up. We're gonna go back up here to the top. Freshen up with our Plum Crazy right up here along this line, okay? Just like this. I'm gonna freshen it up. And we are gonna do that and then bring it down into our red just a little bit. The Duchess says yes, you know when you, whoops comment disappeared what the comment disappeared you know when you get stuck and can't move forward put it in timeout and change the paint yep that's right that must be the painting duchess exactly oh, wow tanya says john travolta did the first reese's commercial what huh no way are you serious i guess i did not know that okay so i'm going to take my plum crazy up here on the top and just clean up just this upper line because i don't want red up there but I do love the transition that takes place from here down with the red. It just sort of gradually goes into the red instead of like boom purple, boom red. It just mixed into it, all right? So now, It's now, reminded me of It's a Small World in, in Disney. Oh, I love that, that's my favorite ride. 
I know. It's a small weird. world after it's been there since all. the 60s, I think. I know, I love it. I love that boat through Disney and the wind blowing up <laughs> your hair. Karen says, is anyone else staring at her hair? It's so pretty. Oh, you like my hair? Is she kidding? Beth says it looks like Christmas. I agree. It reminds me of something you would see in Fredericksburg in one of the... Or the something bars. you'd see in Whoville or something like that. It's going to be fun. Y'all just wait. This is the beginning, y'all. Remember? I mean, we're going to add... I'm going to be adding the transfer, the Latin floral transfer, which is going to totally change the vibe. And then I'll be putting lots of metallic... Um, gold on it, so that does as well. All Sherry right. says it's looking San Antonio-ish. Next part, my my brush. So this here is the French tip brush. This is what it looks like when you get it in the mail, just like this. This is what it looks like when you use it for a while. These are two different ones that I've used over and over and over. Okay, so it has a tapered edge, so it blends beautifully and easily. And then this one right here is one of the newer Dixie Belle brushes. And this one's called the La Petite, which basically is the same idea. It's basically does the same thing. This one's a fatter and has an even more tapered brush, um, but, and obviously has a shorter handle. So it's a lot easier for some people to hold and work with. I, this one's still my favorite. And this one's a little bit more affordable than this one. They're both amazing, but I'm gonna be using this one. I just want you to know that this is an option if this long handle bothers you. Um, and then this one also comes to a tighter point, but I like this one. I don't know. I like them both, but I, I still tend to go for this one first. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is I'm going to reactivate my drop cloth, which is this color right here. Uh, anytime you do any type of wanting to blend something out, you want to reactivate the color that you're blending it with. You not I can't like reactivate it with water because this drop cloth was painted, you know, a week ago. So I'm just slapping a little drop cloth kind of nearby. I just want it somewhere close by that I can go in and get it if I need it. Okay. Yari says uh, love la petite for mama's butter. Oh yeah, it does work really, really well because of that short handle, I agree. It goes in and um, lubes up our woods with the Big Mama's butter, butter in our paints as well. Okay, so now I'm gonna just give this a little bit of a spritz, a little bit of a spritz. So what I've done there is, bless you babe, is I've activated this red, okay? That's all I did, so I activated the red, just a little bit, not too much. This is just water. Now I'm gonna also make sure my brush has water on it, which it already did because I had just washed them. Okay, so now I'm going to go in here and I want to smear out this red. So do you see this like cloudy sort of messy, uh, I don't know what you call that, like shading, red shading. Um, and then this is what it did look like. You see that? That messy yuck looks like your kindergartner painted it. Whereas this looks intentional and on purpose. And I think that this will accept the Latin floral transfer with all that bold print on top of it really well. And you'll be able to see some of the shading through it. I think you'll be able to see that through it. That's my plan. That's what I'm hoping for. So let's get up here and fix some of this, okay? So it's wet. Let's wet it a little bit more. So once you wet it and you borrow from, you borrow from that uh, drop cloth, it just starts smearing out. Now, you can do this with other type brushes, but there is something so magical about this tapered brush. You don't have to go back and forth and back and forth. You literally just travel around here and rub it out like this. I know, isn't that magical? Isn't that pretty? Now, I'm gonna take this other brush and get here in the middle. This one was clean. I'm gonna kind of spread that out in the middle. Get some of our white. Like Beth says you're the queen of blending. I am not. I am not. I appreciate that, Beth. I am not the queen of blending. I just love to shade. I, I think I'm a good shader, um, but blending is that is. I'm. I don't. I still. 
I just don't feel super proficient at it. Well, Judy says great blend. Thank you. But guys, I'm telling you, the brush, this brush is <clears throat> magical. It really is. There we go. So that looks very similar to that. I'm going, I'm going with that. So let's do it again down here. Let's spritz the red a little bit. And then let's pick up that little tiny artist brush and reactivate a little bit of the white here. Oh, you just gave Amber new techniques. Yay, Amber, I'm glad. That's the point. That's, that's why we're here tonight. It's exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to teach um, a couple things. My point for tonight's video was to let you know that it's okay to change your mind. That's Sue, Miss Sue Walters. It's okay to change your mind. And uh, don't be ashamed of that. And uh, it's okay to have put in the time and have to do it over just because it feels better. Is that the bell brush? No, this is not the bell brush. This is called French tip. This is the French tip. And it looks like this on mine. This is in the package. Um, and then also the La Petite brush does the same thing. It's just a completely different handle. It's fatter, shorter, a little bit more pointed. This one is longer and thin. This one's my favorite. Leslie says that she believes you were born under a rainbow, collect, uh, creating it, your love and talent of combining colors. What a gift. God love her. That's sweet, Leslie. Leslie is a, is that Leslie Parker, I'm assuming? Uh, let me see here. She is a fabulous artist. Yes, it is. And so I'm just honored. I'm honored you said that because I've seen your work, girl. I know that you are a fabulous artist. I appreciate that. All right, so I'm just running this brush right up in the edge of that piece, just like that. And I'm going to do it again down here and show you how it blends really well into um, the Plum Crazy. So I got a little bit, a lot, a lot of red on my brush. So I just went in and sprayed it a little bit and wiped it off. And so now I'm going to pick up that other brush and I put the white on here. I'm going to kind of take some of that white across and down. We may have to add a little bit of white up here. I noticed it's a little more pink on the inside where this is white. We have less space over here. So, um, you know, you have to take that into consideration that we have less less space, but let's do it. Let's is just... Dixie Bell also on Instagram? We are on Instagram. Who's on, who asked that? I did. Yes. I mean, one of the people answering questions and stuff. Oh, are they? No, there's no one moderating oh, okay. on Instagram. No. I wonder if they can boot people. Oh, yeah. If it gets um, ugly, we can just be done with them. Hopefully not, because I like my Instagrammers. I do. Yeah, there's always a couple, though. All right, so added a little bit more. We're going to go back over here, adding some purity back into it. And um, then we'll come back with our red brush again. But right now, just added some of that. Now I'm going to pick up my red brush again. Hannah's digging the color combo. Best love in the red. I am so glad. I love it too. I, I was so happy today. Y'all was out here by myself and I did this. I was like, okay, I'm going to do this one side. And if it looks good, that's what I'm going to do with them tonight on live. And I stood back and I was like, yes, yes. It just felt right. When it feels good, you want to show everybody, you know, you just want to show everyone and it just, you just know that it's right. Uh, okay. Off topic, have you done a, a video tutorial on making Harlequin? Mm, I do have, I have a lot of video tutorials on Harlequins. They are uh, on playlist usually. So if you go to YouTube and type in Tracy's Fancy, go to YouTube, type in Tracy's Fancy Harlequin, some, some playlists should come up for you. Some videos should come up for you. Um, okay, so now let's get down here on the bottom before it's time to go. Let, let's go, let's add Plum Crazy down here again. So my Plum Crazy brush has a lot of red in it, so I'm going to take off some of this red. I'm going to dip back into the Plum Crazy, which is a beautiful, deep, deep, pinky plum color. And I'm going to add this across the bottom, just like this. I don't know how to kick them off, Melissa. Oh, you just, you can't kick them off. You'll just have to shut down. Is it getting, are they being ugly? No, there's just one okay. or two. I'll just ignore them. Put one in there. 
Okay, so there we go. But it's too sharp of a line. So now I'm going to take my, my French tip brush again and I'm just going to run it across there just like this, just to sort of uh, bl blend through that edge, just like that. I can spray it a little bit if I want to reactivate some of that red. We can even dip a little bit into the red and it just softens that edge up and makes it I'm even going in a circle. I want to bring some of that red down on to the purple, just like you see it over here. It kind of has that cotton candy-ish look to it. So that's what we've done. That's what we've done there as well, okay? So we did a nice blend here and here. Um, what time is it? Do we have? It's, uh, it's 7.40. Gosh, I wanted to do more. Okay, I wanted to do more with you guys, but I think, I think we're gonna have to go. Um, I think that's good. I think it's, I think what, we got our point across. It's okay to change your mind. It's okay to put colors together that most people don't wanna put together, like purpley pinks and reds together and aqua all together. Um, it's okay to blend colors that seem really odd. You'd be surprised at what magic happens in between them. And then I encourage you all to try a finished French tip brush um, or the La Petite brush if you think that this size would work better for you, I encourage y'all to try those. My link is at the top of this video. Um, it is my affiliate link. If you click on that, because I'm a brand ambassador, uh, Dixie Bell will give me a kickback of, uh, for sending you their way. Um, and you also can use my link to go to the website. It takes you to their website and you can type in your zip code into the find a retailer section. And that will tell you if you have a local retailer in your area, which I'm sure you do. We have local retailers all over the place. But if you order online, it'll get shipped to your door. Um, Amber said you rocked it again. Thank you, Amber. Thank you so much. I am going to be going live over on my own page, Tracy's Fancy. I would love for y'all to follow me there as well. Um, I look forward to seeing a lot of y'all in my class on Friday night where we're going to paint teapots and uh, spend that time together. And Dixie Bell, thank you so much for having me and thank you for the amazing transfer at Latin Floral. I've been saving it to be the last one that I use um, out of all the new ones because it's my favorite. Well, except for Alice. Alice won. Ding, ding. Did y'all hear that? Alice won. Alice won. Alice two. Alice two is coming. They have had such success with Alice one, the Alice in Wonderland transfer. They've decided to call it Alice one because they're coming out with an entirely new set, which will be Alice two, and they will work together. So it's the same vibe, same colors. They'll be able to be built upon each other. So we have an Alice 2 coming for that as well. So thank y'all for being so responsive to the things that we've created with the Alice transfer. It's pretty amazing. Uh, love you guys. I will see y'all next Wednesday. Um, and for those of y'all going to head over to Tracy's Fancy, I'll see y'all over there. Okay. Y'all take care. Have a good night. Bye-bye.